Hi, this is James Harrison. I'm back for the next video in this series, and we're going to skip a rudiment today. We're not going to do the triple stroke roll. We're going to the double stroke open roll. In this case, in the old rudiments, we called it the long roll. Um, but what we're going to do on this one is I haven't really found a better way than what I learned, and that was to say mama, dada. And my right hand was mama, my dada was left hand. Uh, the way in the old days we did it is we, we used to start on the left hand and accent the second note. It's a great way to do it because you learn to put emphasis and try to keep the roll even as you get faster. But for young people and whatnot, I think a great way to do it is just, uh, I'll do a match grip right now. It's just follow your voice. Say mama, dad, dad. Don't try to do it unevenly, but mama, dad, dad. Just try to mama, dad, dad, mama, dad, dad, mama, dad, dad, mama, dad, dad. That's much easier to try to say right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, which is fine, except when you try to get faster, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left becomes difficult, where mama, dada, mama, dada, mama, dada, mama, dada is, is pretty easy. So again, in this case, what you're really trying to do is just, again, follow your voice, say mama, dada, regardless of the grip, mama, dada, dada. try to get evenness out of the notes. And we're taught to practice it and get faster and faster. My wish is that you learn it at one tempo. When you've got that down really well, then you speed it up. Mama, dad, dad, 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 mama, dad, dad. You hold that tempo. When you're comfortable with that, speed it up. Mama, dad, dad, 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 mama, dad, dad. And you get to a point where, again, where you can't say it fast enough, comfortably, or for very long. But during this process, you're going to memorize the feel of doing it. Mama, dada, mama, dada, mama, dada, mama, dada, mama, dada, mama, dada. Eventually, we're going to get fast enough that we go from stroking each note, mama, dada, one note per wrist. We're going to do one wrist motion and get two notes, and it turns into a fast roll. And the way this happens is we go for two for one. Uh, there's lots of exercises and videos out there. Uh, eventually, you just want to work to a point where you can't go faster by stroking without getting tight. We don't want to get tight. When that becomes easy, we want to go to the next step, and that is trying to, to bounce. Um, it's kind of like we have a speaking voice, and we have a falsetto voice, which I know sounds weird. It's a high voice, and then we have a head voice that's in between. I don't have that, but in drumming, going between stroking and bouncing is that same type of thing. You want to bridge that gap. Uh, one way that I found works really well for a lot of people is let's go back to the last lesson, which was the multiple bounce roll or the buzz roll. And I talked about overplaying and pressing down and then relaxing the fingers from the back to get a buzz roll. Well, if you'll take that same concept, press that, relax the fingers. Now, instead of turning it to a buzz, relax the hands completely so you're not pressing it'll turn to an open roll. I'm not changing anything. I'm, over, I'm pressing, I'm gonna relax the back of the hand so I get that buzz. If I relax the hands, I'm not pressing anymore, it's gonna bounce, and I get that. So if you could take that approach, and start slowing that down, and feel that process, Take that and we go slow. We take the other approach and work on getting that faster. We meet in the middle and eventually we learn to develop a roll. So again, I'll do it, I'll do it with this grip now. So I'm going to buzz. Ugly buzz is what I call it. Overpress. Relax the hands enough that it buzzes and then relax them even more. You're not pressing and you'll get that roll. So if you don't think you can roll fast enough, you can. The problem is you have to learn how to let the arms move and let the fingers control the rebound. The faster you get, the wrist take comes out of it a little bit. Uh, and when I first learned as a youngster, it was a lot of arm and a lot of wrist. And then as you got closer to the drum, it became more, less arm, more wrist. Less arm, more wrist and fingers. Less wrist, more fingers and arms as you got fast. 
So what we're trying to do is learn a fast, a fast approach backwards, which we buzz it, relax the hands and no press, and we'll turn to that. So if I slow that down, there's a point where I may not be able to keep it, but you'll get that eventually. And then this other way is to go slower and find out where my breaking point is and get that to where you go from stroking. to the fast one and bridge the gap and you'll get a long roll or double stroke roll open roll whatever you want to call it as long as you can do it and it's and when you get into it's great on drum set when you can control the rebound it's ultra important in the marching world in the traditional drumming world because you're usually trying to match other drummers and you've got to play with a similar technique and sound quality to get that to happen so again i take mama dad dad mama dad dad And I, don't, I want you to practice getting faster. Just slow, stop and start several times for the sake of shortness of the video. We'll just keep going for now. A little faster. My wrist is still moving twice. If I get to a certain point, I'm getting two for one now. If I get faster, the arms move more, the wrist moves less to get the roll, regardless of the grip. So... Again, if I want to go from the fast approach backwards, think of the buzz roll. Overpress it, relax it, and it'll we'll turn to that. So, press it, relax so it buzzes, relax even more, and it turns to an open roll. Meet in the middle, you'll have a great open roll.